Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech, the super simple series. Today we're going to be talking about the turtle from Computercraft. Uh, you can see I've got one in my inventory right here. And this is made with some pretty basic materials. I'll just show you the recipes. Uh, oh, well, you know, now I'll show you the recipes. Uh, in order to make one of these guys, you're going to need a piece of redstone. I'm going to need some stone, a glass pane, some iron, a chest, and of course a diamond pickaxe, which uh, in my mod pack is completely useless, but it is useful in, in crafting recipes. So you'll need three diamonds, but once you've got three diamonds and a piece of redstone, you can do a lot with a turtle. So here's the super simple version. Item number one, get your turtle and place it down. Right click on it and you'll get a super scary command prompt. But don't worry, there's a couple of things. You can do a ton with a turtle, but we're going to talk about the super simple stuff you can do because that's the name of this series. The very first thing you're going to want to do is give your turtle a name. So label, set, and then give it any name you want. I'm going to name mine Frank. Hello, Frank. Now, the reason you do this is until a computer uh, or turtle is labeled, it cannot remember anything about itself. And if you break it with a pick that I didn't bring, oh well, um, if you break it, it will lose everything that it knows about itself, and including things like the level of fuel or any programs that you've put inside of it or anything like that. So, if you want to keep your fuel around, make sure and set the label. The next thing you're going to need is some fuel. Now, if I type refuel, it's going to tell me that the fuel level is currently zero. If I put a piece of coal in here, and I say refuel, it uses, it, it gives you 80 fuel for one piece of coal. Uh, and it will only look in the first slot. Now, you can also have it look in other slots if I move this over and I say refuel it'll oh well that's nice I guess they fixed that it used to be that it wouldn't use in other slots you used to have to type in an extra command but hey there you go good news and you you'll notice that we got 800 from a piece of coal uh, a uh, coal block which takes nine coal to make so do the math and you'll realize that it's better to turn your coal into coal blocks and then refuel you get one free coal for each coal block hey let's stick it down there and see if this works refuel by the way i'm hitting the up arrow to repeat the previous command and then i hit enter and you get a thousand for a bucket so if you find yourself a nice lake of lava you can grab a few buckets and right click and fill them up and throw them all in here and hit refuel and it will do that uh, very conveniently and you get a thousand per bucket of lava. So now that it's all fueled up we can give it some commands. Now the very basic command is go. Now go by itself does nothing. It'll ask well where do you want it to go? If we say go forward it will move one forward. If you remember, it was back here. And we can do the same thing and say go back, and it'll go back one. And we can say go forward two, and it'll go forward two. And we can say, and I'm hitting the back up arrow twice to get back to this one. I can say go back two and go back two. Now, if I tell it to go back forward three, it's going to go forward two, and then it's going to run into that block and say, I, I, don't, I can't go forward. Uh, and that's just fine. As a matter of fact, it's now stuck. Uh-oh. What can we do? I can't type anymore. I can't hit enter. If I hit escape, it brings me back out again. What do I do? Well, you can break it and then place it again, but I didn't bring a pick. So if you hold down control and hit T... Sorry, hold down control and T. You can't just hit T, you have to hold them both down. After a few seconds, it will terminate the program. If you hold down control and R 
after a few seconds it will reboot and it will start you over at the beginning. Got all that? All right, so so far it's totally useless. What we want to do is actually make it do something useful. How about have it use that pick that's in front of it? So here's a fun one. We're going to say, we're going to spell it right, we're going to type tunnel5. What this is going to do is actually break things around it. It's going to make a two tall and three wide tunnel. And it's just going to break everything in its path on the way. Shh, don't tell anybody. You can use this to cheat in some mod packs. Hmm. For example, a diamond pick normally won't, um, in this mod pack anyway, will normally not break uh, obsidian. However, a turtle will. But don't tell anyone that. All right, so it takes all those items and it puts it in its inventory right here. And you'll notice it mined 11 total items. And if you told it, if you, if instead of five, you told it 500, it would continue going 500 away. All right, well, that's fun. You can make yourself a gigantic tunnel. Keep in mind that if it goes into a chunk that is unloaded, it will stop running. As a matter of fact, it will reboot and when you come back to it or it will shut down and when you come back to it it will reboot and it won't have any commands running so uh, you will have to stick around somewhat nearby while it's doing a tunnel or in this case we're going to try out the command excavate now excavate is great uh, shift click to get those back in your inventory there excavate is great because you can use it as a basic quarry to gather stuffs Lots and lots of stuffs. Now, the excavate command expects there to be a chest immediately behind the starting position of the turtle. So you place your turtle down and then put a chest directly behind him. The reason this is, if he is, if his inventory is filled, I'm just going to kind of do this and see if we can get it filled up pretty quickly. I'm going to say excavate, excavate, and we're going to say five. This will make a five by five hole starting at his initial position. You'll notice that he did not actually break the pieces above him because he started here. So, as far as he's concerned, there's nothing above him. And he will continue doing this until he hits bedrock, or his inventory is full. Once his inventory is full, and I'm going I'm to see if I can trick him into thinking his inventory is full by right-clicking on him and doing this. Ah, okay. Oh, there he goes. Here he comes. He comes back to the chest and dumps it all in there little by little. See, it says, uh, no empty slots left, returning to surface, unloading items. And uh, normally he'd go a lot further, but we tricked him. And he goes right back to where he left off and continues. Now, this is a very basic program. It is built into the turtle. And you don't have to do anything except for what I just showed you in order to use that. And again, he will go all the way down to bedrock. If there are diamonds in his way, he will break them, and he will bring them back to you and put them in this chest. Really, really handy, huh? And, as the series suggests, it's super simple. So, there you go. The next time you find yourself in a, in a modded world that has computer craft in it, and you've got three diamonds, one redstone, some iron, and... Uh, let's see, uh, some glass, you know, some very basic and simple things. You can have yourself a quarry or a tunneling machine, and there's no programming involved. All right, thanks for joining me, and check out the rest of my series. There should be more of them right near where you found this one. Thanks again. Bye.